Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Star Lords and today we're going to be doing an unboxing of two pop culture collectible boxes. One being the 1UP box and the next one being the Loot Gaming box. Also guys, before we get into this, I would like to say that the links are in the description for these boxes. If you feel like just going off a limb and getting one for December, for Christmas, then use the links below. I get some money, you get some money off. It's pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, I am doing these two together today as I feel a little bit meh. I f I'm not feeling too great. Uh, to be honest, I, I look like shit. I feel like shit. It's just been one of those kind of weeks. Uh, but anyway, let's get into the first box. And the first one we're going to be doing is the loot gaming box. So let's open this up. And okay, this is pretty cool. So first of all, first of all, first of all, first of all, we have... Reaper from Overwatch. Yes, it is a Pop Funko and uh, I'm always happy when I get these. If you get one of these in these boxes, I feel like already the amount has worked out. You've pretty much won. Um, so let's take them out. I don't keep any in the boxes uh, as my son takes them out anyway, but um, there he is right there. He looks pretty darn awesome. He's got the guns. He's looking good. He's looking very good indeed. Um, that can go right next to my, um, my Tracer Overwatch Funko, so that's pretty cool. Uh, moving on to the next thing, we do have a set of 10 bandages, and they do come as Pac-Man bandages, which is pretty strange, but, uh, yeah, you never know when you're gonna get attacked by a killer clown and eat these guys. So let's, um... Okay, so I can confirm they are pretty good. They look, yeah, they look pretty cool. They have Pac-Man on them. They're very sticky and they feel itchy. But uh, yeah, let's move on. The next thing I've got to admit, I have worn these as my girlfriend had to unbox it to check what sort of stuff was inside of it. And they were the Legend of Zelda or I guess just Zelda socks. And of course, this guy, I cannot remember his name for my life, but uh, he's kind of like the bad guy. I think I... I kind of remember, does it begin with a G or something like that? I kind of remember, I haven't played any Zelda games for quite some time, but uh, yeah, he's pretty cool. The socks are very comfy. Um, next thing, we've got something for the winter, which is very awesome. Let's just kind of unbox these out of the, this thing. And we do have gloveless, gloveless sock things. Uh, gloves, gloveless gloves, fingerless gloves. That's what they are, fingerless gloves. And it has Dr. Eggman on there. And it says game over. And uh, I gotta admit, these look pretty cool. I, I don't really wear fingerless gloves, but I can imagine myself wearing these ones as they are. Ah! <laughs> they are pretty cool. I do love Sonic the Hedgehog. So there they are. Game over over so you know when you're out brawling and stuff like that you're just like uh, which one right first okay it's like you right hook and a jab like that you know what i'm well not a jab but you know swing for him um moving on we do have a mario super mario bros 2 uh, fridge magnet which is very awesome that is really cool i love magnets for my fridge and uh, that's certainly something i'm gonna put on it in around about an hour's time or something when i finish this video uh, so it is just Mario. That's pretty cool. I really like that. It's the little things that are kind of cool in these boxes. Um, and again, we do have this month's kind of um, kind of pin, and it is Rumble for October 16. So let's let's have a little look. Can you focus, please? Are you gonna focus for me? Let's, let's do that. Focus for me, baby. Okay, it's not focusing for me, but it does have two gloves kind of coming together and it has little verses inside. I like that. I very much like that a lot. And this month's t-shirt is... Oh, I like it. I love the orange and the black combination. It is actually Titanfall. So, yeah, there that is right there. And it is obviously a Titan. That looks pretty cool. Very much worth it. This month's crate was pretty great from Loot Crate, I guess. Uh, and of course, there we have uh, the box art, which is Reaper's gun, uh, just kind of pasted all over, which says, die, die, die. So yeah, that was pretty cool. I really enjoyed that crate. Um, the bandages will come in handy for my son if he ever falls over. You know, when they get to this age, they tend to fall over quite a lot. Um, but anyway, let's now move on to our one-up box. Let's have a little look-see here. 
and uh, I do have to say, my son got a, hand, uh, a hold of this crate while I was upstairs having a shower. He actually unboxed everything. He actually took out everything out of the case. He ripped everything up. Luckily, he didn't rip up the sticker this month, which was Boo out of Mario. So there he is right there. Really cool looking with his little cheeks. I love this guy. He's so cool in uh, Super Mario 64 when you find the big huge one on top of the castle, I think. Crazy. I love him. Uh, the second thing we are having in this crate is a Walking Dead bracelet. Uh, I love the Walking Dead. I've caught myself up. And I'm um, sorry if you cannot see that. I'm not really used to these focusing skills yet on this camera. But um, I will probably give this to somebody in the family. You know, I'm not going to wear it personally. I hate things being on my wrist. It just... No, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Um, moving on, as it was October's crate, we got Jack Skellington in our Dorbs uh, collectible. We had a chance to get the Boogeyman and Jack Skellington. Lucky for me, I got Jack Skellington as he is very awesome. I love him. I love the Nightwear Before Christmas. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool too. Moving on, we do have a Pac-Man keyring slash bottle opener. I feel like I always have these things in these kind of crates. There's always bottle openers everywhere. Uh, but, you know, you never can have too many. You know, if you have a party, everyone needs one. Uh, so it looks pretty cool. It is a ghost kind of one. I Is it Blinky? Is Blinky the blue one, guys? Tell me. I would like to know. Moving on, we do have this month's pin, which says 1UP October Horror. And it has a little cat kind of all beaten up there. Let's try and focus that. There you go. It's looking pretty, pretty nice. What's that say? Free pet? I thought it said pee pet. I was like, what the fuck is a pee pet? Um, anyway, that is pretty much the box over and done with. We now have this last little t-shirt. And it is a horror t-shirt. Let's see, there you go. And it has Jack Skeleton, Daryl out of The Walking Dead. Um, is that... I don't know what the yellow Pac-Man ghost is. And of course, we do have Boo at the top. That's pretty cool. I really like that. I can imagine somebody in the family wearing that. Me, personally, I wouldn't, as I don't really like black t-shirts. And if there's too many colors on the t-shirt that I don't like, then I won't wear it. Unfortunately, purple was there. I wouldn't wear that. Uh, but anyway, guys, that has pretty much been it for these crates. I love these things right here. These are going to be cool for my son, although he will probably peel them off. I love the Jack Skellington. I love the Super Mario thing. It was pretty awesome. This, these month's crates were pretty good. And uh, like I said, you know, sometimes with the t-shirts and if you get a Funko Pop or a Dorb, you pretty much make your money back anyway. So, I don't know. I, I see it as a win-win situation anyway. Um, anyway, guys, I'm sorry it has to be quick. I want to get some Modern Warfare uh, remastered kind of gameplay up and stuff like that. I want to play some Battlefield 1 also. Uh, I do hope that you have an awesome day and have an awesome weekend also as it is Friday today. And uh, yeah, until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya. <laughs>